Assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon, folks. My name is Daphne Iking, and you are watching this live, hopefully over Facebook, YouTube, as well as Instagram. If it looks a little bit funny, then head out. If you're watching it over my IG live, then head over to my Facebook page, which is Daphne Iking, or my YouTube page, Daphne Iking, for a better viewing experience. Okay, hari ini macam biasa lah. Daripada saya semalam saya cuba IG live. Biasanya saya buat Facebook Live, tapi hari ini kami mau cuba all four channels because besok kami mau buat our virtual cooking show sama Diva Rumah punya team. So we're also testing this at the same time. We might as well get some cooking done and to talk and bebel at the same time. What is the topic? Well, we're going to get into that sebab dia macam bikin panas juga lah dia punya topik hari ini kan. Tapi sebelum itu, what am I talking? What am I talking? What am I cooking today? I'm going to be preparing the singgang bawal putih, which is the white pomfret sour soup, and I'm getting the recipe from this, the Malay Kitchen recipe book that has been a okayed by Thermomix, uh, done by our very own Thermomix Malaysia advisors as well as our sifus, as I like to say. Okay, jadi ingredient yang diperlukan simple saja. Of course, we have to have the ikan. Ikan ni sedapat fresh daripada Everleaf. And if you would like to get a 10% discount for deliveries sent to you, because right now kan kita lockdown kan, jadi bagus kita stay at home, kita order saja lah in. You can get actually 10% off by using my code COOKWITHDAFNI10. Okay? Dan of course, kita perlukan kita punya halia, kita punya garlic, onion, onion juga, dan juga ada red chili, The recipe actually wants um, also green chili, tapi saya tiada, jadi biarlah. As well as asam keping. Okay. Garam, gula, cooking oil. Cuma kunyit bayang saya tiada, jadi saya pakai powdered turmeric lah. Boleh lah baik kan, just to add on some colour. Alright. Okay. And then we've got water and I've also got my homemade stock because instead of using salt, I'm going to be using my homemade stock. Jadi, apa yang perlu dibuat dulu is, of course, to chop it all up. We're going to place the yellow onions first. Ya, hari ini kita akan berbincang mengenai topik hangat di Sabah sekarang ni. We're going to put in the garlic. Mengenai a alleged sexual misconduct that took place Amongst one of the Unduk Ngada participants, put in all this first lah. Bila dia bersauteing, baru saya bercakap bis. Saya mau betul-betul make sure that I get all my points across. And then, do we put in the chili also? Yes, kita letak juga red chili. Yes, Isadore, have you finished your homework? Have you? Isadore is going through an entrance exam in July, that's if the lockdown does not continue, so he's preparing for that, to masuk darja satu. What else do we need? What else do we need? Okay, so because saya tiada tutu merikan, mula-mula saya mau pergi, apa, kurik sana saya punya garden, tapi lambat sudah, habis mau start sudah itu cooking show kan, jadi saya bilang biarlah kita pakai saja powdered turmeric, and I think I'm just going to add in a bit, I'm not going to add in like 20 grams of the actual turmeric, Um, just for colour. Because kalau kau tengok tu restoran kan ada, eh restoran, itu resepi kan memang kuning-kuning sikit badi punya warna. Jadi saya tambah sikit just for colour. And a bit, of course, for that smell and taste, but not so much. Alright, and then I'm going to add in the uh, minyak masak, about 30 grams. So the great thing about this, as most of you already who follow my cooking show, the Thermomix has an integrated weighing scale inside. So I can straight away, let's tear it first. Add in the cooking oil to roast. So I need about 30 grams of this. And I'm using grapeseed oil which has high temperature. Normally I use olive oil. Tapi kali ini saya mau cuba bahaya ini grapeseed oil yang saya jumpa di supermarket tu hari. Only because it has high temperature cooking. Although if you're cooking with the Thermomix, it has perfect temperature. So, you will never, like if you're using olive oil for instance, kalau kau masak, masak pakai itu wok, mungkin adalah kejadian dia ter-overheat. Tapi kalau kau pakai thermomix, there's always the perfect temperature of 120 degrees if you're sauteing or if you're using it for um, making dough or creating dough or ba- making dough. Yalah, sama lah itu kan. You don't bake the dough. Well, later on you do. But when you're creating the dough, then you put a bit of oil and you're using 37 degrees for the yeast to rise or to be active, then this is memang terbaik lah. Okay, 
So I place the yellow onions, garlic, ginger, turmeric, red chilies, uh, cooking oil into the mixing bowl, and then I'm going to saute it for about four minutes, okay? So we just slide in, go into four minutes. It's as easy as that. So jadi saya ada empat minit untuk berbebel mengenai kita punya topik hari ini. We're going to go into 120, which is the uh, normal temperature that we go into when we're sautéing. And then, last but not least, we're going to go into speed one. Do we do this in reverse? No. So, reverse, when it says reverse, there will actually be an icon there. But if you're using the guided cooking, using the Cookie Do, which is an integrated recipe platform which, uh, with... with has over 70,000 recipes inside, then kalau tidak payah bimbang lah, kalau just ikut the prompts, or there's the other way where if you slide in, I'm not sure if I can do it here, or oh, I can, then they've also got like the rice cooker, you've got the egg boiler, and uh, uh, sous vide, slow cook, fermentation, which is the other way to cook your meals, alright? Jadi topik hari ini sebenarnya, ada orang lama sudah, but, well not lama, about two, three days ago, ada orang hantar saya ni report, mengenai seorang unduk ngadau baru-baru ni ya yang lodged a report on May 21st after she was allegedly molested May 19 after a photo shoot by one of the organizers of the unduk ngadau uh, committee that took place baru-baru ni okay but this actually sort of viralized baru-baru selepas celebration i'm not quite sure if things would hush hushed for a bit but what I do know from reports is this. So, the Unduk Ngadaw participant was brave enough to have lodged a report about this guy who is in the committee for the Unduk Ngadaw organizing committee. He apparently was in charge of the tech side of things. He is also a politician with Star Party, Party Star, which I'm actually quite familiar with. And um, so she lodged a report because on May 19, what happened was she, after a photo shoot, they pergi ikut this guy who ajak her after the dinner or after the photo shoot to masuk kereta dia lah. Di sana lah, they pergi meraba-raba. That was actually, the actual words that she used, meramas dan meraba, uh, her on the neck, on the thigh, and on her hand, you know, and she felt uncomfortable. She even, he even brought her to the office. And then she also protested, and that's the reason why she lodged a report. May 21st, she was very, very brave. There was numerous uh, attempts to get in touch with the guy, the alleged molester, and no, there was no comment from him. Um, apparently, there was also calls from the committee, but everyone kept mum about that. I'm not quite sure why, but as of now, the report shows that um, they knew about this, but they were trying to handle it delicately. Um, the chairman, who is my auntie herself, Auntie Joanna Kittingan, who is the chairman of the Unduk Ngadau Borderless 2021, had urged other participants of the Unduk Ngadau. Unduk Ngadau is basically the Unduk Ngadau. Um, it is a, um, a beauty pageant that takes place in Sabah uh, to celebrate um, the spirit of Huminodun, okay? So um, I was in Unduk Ngadau back in 2003, so I'm quite familiar with the whole setup. It's gone, of course, uh, expanded and evolved by leaps and bounds, especially now virtually because everyone's under lockdown. So two years in a row, we've not been having the celebrations, but I'm guessing that they still had their activities that they had to go through, the participants. And I guess that's when it took place, the alleged incident, right? So, that took place. Um, apparently, uh, you know, Auntie Joanna said that they, they knew about this and one of the activities that also were included was having a Zoom talk to all participants about sexual harassment, what it is about, and if there was any other participants who had faced the same, um, you know, unfortunate incidents of what happened to one of the participants to please be brave and to step forward. So that took place. It only sort of blew up after the celebrations, which took place May 31st. Congratulations to our new crowned Unokadao, Maya. She is beautiful. She's a student of Sabah and Polish parentage. Now, before we get into that, I'm just going to continue with this. Jadi, sudah sauté. And it smells. Who is cooking now also at the same time? Oh, hi, Ben. Apa perasaan kau, Ben? I'm sure it's like... 
big news over there, Khan. I mean, I saw uh, YB, Jennifer Lassimbang, also she tagged me. I, I know a lot of other past former Unduk Madaos have also, uh, they, stand, they stand in solidar solidarity, solidarity. Oh my God, why? I'm so sorry. Uh, solidarity, I'm so sorry. I woke up at 3 a.m. because my son would not sleep and I've, I've been awake since, okay? So I'm a little bit like zombified. Anyway, yeah, so I'm sure that's um, something big, uh, what's happening over there. And I know that a lot of former Unduk Madaos, as well as politicians, a lot of women rights activists are speaking up and standing together and telling her thank you and applauding her for being brave, okay? So before we get more into that, add dry tamarind pieces, salt, sugar, as well as water, and then we're going to cook it or boil it for about eight minutes, okay? Okay. Sorry, who is that? Ah, uh, no, it's not Johnny. It's actually here in the Malay recipe book. And if you are an advisor, I'm not sure you or your sister is an advisor. You can actually purchase it uh, for an advisor's uh, rate. Okay, so FYI. So it's on the Malay. This is a really good book. One of the few good books that I actually enjoy or really go back and forth checking it out. Uh, the other one is Tasty Asia, which is actually a book, a cookbook that is on promotion right now. So if you are a customer and you purchase, then you are also able to host and earn those freebies, which includes the Tasty Asia cookbook as well as the uh, thermal mat. Okay? So saya sambung dulu. Okay? Saya sambung balik. All right. Saya sudah kasih masuk saya punya tamarind. Next, I'm going to add in about, um, let me see, let me say, let me see. Two teaspoons of salt, but I'm going to change it up here and I'm going to use my own homemade stock. And it has salt anyway. This is fresh. I just made it. It smells so good. I just replenished my uh, chicken, st uh, this stock, sorry, homemade stock. Okay, so I'm going to add in about two tablespoons. And what else do I add? I'm going to add in a bit of sugar just for taste. I think I should use another spoon. Ah, la la. Ini laba ini. It's so panas today. I don't know if it's like just here in PJ, but it's so very, very, very panas. I'm just going to add in just a bit. Sikit sejak semua letak. Because Selina bilang tiap ayah banyak tu. Alright, and then I'm going to add in what else? Sugar done, salt done. Well, salt and uh, water. Water, I need about mm, 700 grams of water okay so let's go back to the scales and as i said there's three ways of cooking one is via the um uh, cookie do one is via community sharing recipes and one is through the modes that they have inside here like the sous vide the fermentation etc etc okay so i'm going to add in about 700, is it 700? Yes, 700 grams of water. Just going to add in another 60. And yes, oh my God, as I said, it's so panas right now. I don't know what's up with the weather. I was hoping for some rain, some reprieve. Macam sikit sejatuh hujan semalam. Macam alang-alang juga saya punya, um, apa? Alamak terlebih, namanya 22. Oh well. Okay, and then I'm going to boil this all together for about 8 minutes. Boil at 100 speed. 1. Okay, let's do that. Jadi kadang-kadang kan, kita ni malas-malas saja. Itulah saya suka masak sama ni termomix. Habis sekaligus kan, saya bukan pandai masak. Jadi at the same time, saya boleh bebel. Saya boleh buat kerja lain. Biasanya kalau bukan saya bebel, saya kasih bersihlah rumah. Atau I'm doing some other work or I'm helping my son out with his homework. Tapi ni kali sebab saya tahu yang saya akan bebel hari ini kan. Jadi saya bilang, nak aku buat dulu kami homework awal-awal. Right. Oh, Ben. Ben says that he loves watching the lino pot being cooked. Okay. Well, I did a, um, I did a Facebook Live on cooking rice using this with the thermal mix because then you actually steam the rice and all the water, all the starch um, is actually drained out and you can actually use the excess of that water to either use it as a base for your soup 
to thicken your soup. Um, I use it to basically let it cool down and then after that I water the plants with it because it's very good for plants. Some people have even used it as like a toner because kotor macam tu particular red color punya skin care. Drang pakai sebenarnya nasi betul. Drang guna untuk toner bagi lawak. Kau tengok lah untuk Korean Korean semua kan macam wow muka drang macam lawak flawless gitu kan. Sebenarnya kau boleh pakai juga betul. Kalau kau tidak gross out lah, you just let it cool down and then you use it as a toner. Done. Right, let's go back to that topic of the day which is very very hangat. Um, so yeah, what happened was the dude. Right, he has since the report and allegations been viralized, he has been suspended. He is with the division in Kapayan under Party Star, so it was a good call from the president of the party to suspend him until you know this whole thing blows over. Whether he's innocent or guilty, only time will tell. But let me just tell you this, guys: if you Google him, there's a little bit of dodginess about him. Go and search yourself that's all i can say okay and he had a he had a press conference yesterday that took place around 11 something in the morning and he was doing a press conference saying that oh people are out to get me people are out to ruin my reputation you know i'm also going to sue the security guard who lodged a report against me so a security guard so not only the lady has lodged a report um on sexual misconduct but There was also a report by a security guard uh, where this dude, this Philip Among, Among Among, kalau orang Sabah Among lah, baik tu kan? Kalau Malaysia apa? Kalau kau cakap English tu Among, you know Among, you know. Uh, he was being physical with the security guard. I don't know what exactly took place, but it must have been pretty bad if the security guard actually lodged a report. So Philip is suing the guy as well as. I can't remember who else. I know he was like suing some other people, and then he also denies the fact that there was any alleged molestation or sexual harassment that took place. Okay, the police arrived during the time that the press conference was going on. The police actually said to the reporters, "It's okay, continue doing what you have to do. Continue with the press conference." At 1:10 p.m., he was arrested. He has brought. He has since been brought in to be investigated, and this has been confirmed by the Sabah Police Commissioner Datuk Hazani. And that is that. So we're waiting for further news. All I can say is kudos to the lady who uh, was brave enough to lodge the report. I am saying this because I know many incidents and friends, and even myself, who are not brave to speak up about incidents or harassment that has happened upon us. Why? Because we simply. And I, I was talking to my husband about this this morning. You know, it happened when I was in university. And it was just disgusting. But I didn't know. I did not know what to do. First, I was shocked, and then second, I just didn't know what the proceedings would be. Because okay, sepegi ke polis, I'm not raped, but the guy made me do things. I mean, I, I didn't do any sexual, physical things. It was just that he sort of, you know, harassed me, right? And there are different forms of harassment. There is visual. Okay, so if a guy constantly sends you, for instance, pornographic images, and you're not feeling comfortable with that, that is visual sexual harassment. There's verbal sexual harassment if he keeps on saying all these lewd things, and again, you feel uncomfortable, you don't like it. You've said already, protested so many times. Please don't do that. Please don't do that. I think it's cruel. I think it's lewd. And he continues. That is verbal sexual harassment. Physical sexual harassment is of what, of course, what happened with the、um, survivor who recently was brave enough to lodge a report, and so many others who have,、um, you know, filed suits. So that would basically sum up physical when there is physical sexual abuse. There is psychological, okay. So when the person sort of like、um, bullies you into doing things that you don't want, or seeing things that you don't want, or listening to things that you don't want. And then there is also gestural. So let's say if the guy is holding a banana and he knows he's being lewd、uh, and crude about a gesture, and he's it's obviously sexual, and you're not comfortable, that would、uh, come under the category of gestural sexual harassment. Okay. So yes, again, I applaud this lady for speaking up, a young lady, and I think it's.、Um, If any of the other undok ngada participants or any other women or men, who knows, we're not going to judge here, has been harassed, 
by the said person or who has been harassed recently or in the past and were afraid to speak up, maybe this is the time for you to be brave to speak about it like how I am doing now. You know, it's not an easy thing. There's a lot of shame that comes with it because I think it has a lot to do with people blaming the victim. I mean, when I was reading some of the articles, right, I was reading some of the articles and whilst a lot of people were um, showing their support and going, you're very brave, if there's anyone else like this who's facing all this, please speak up, come forward, we want to help you. There were certain quarters who were also saying quite the opposite. They questioned her attire, they questioned her behaviour. Now, again, I was talking to my husband about this and he said something about, um, and we were discussing about how it's very unfair because... Um, that is probably the reason why a lot of people do not uh, speak up. Simply because, Satu, what, what exactly do they have to do? What can they do? Can they uh, lodge a report? It, how, how do you find evidence in someone trying to grope you? Because there's no, if there's no bruises, how, how do you show it? And if it's just me and the person alone, you know what I mean? Uh, if, if it was rape, not saying that it's better in that sense, but there's... there's there's more chances of medical evidence to be able to be produced um, if you don't wash yourself last. So there's actually some steps there. And we, I, I went through this theatre um, and um, a lady actually acted out a true story of what happened to her. And um, she, what, one of the things that she wanted to highlight was if rape ever happens to you, cho, 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 cho. Wow. The first thing you want to do is don't wash yourself because that's evidence. You have to go and lodge a police report. The second thing is you will need to go and do a medical checkup. And it's not just any doctor. You can go to someone that you trust first and then that person will probably refer you to a government hospital because that's where um, reports will be done um, and it's, 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 it's needed for the police report to go through for, for evidence to come through. You can't just go to a private hospital. It has to go through a government hospital, I was told. I don't know if things have changed since, but that's, uh, that's, that's basically some of the process that takes place. Okay, so this has been boiled and it smells delicious. It looks quite the color that it's supposed to, like in the, um, in the recipe book. So it has a tinge of yellow, the minyak suda pecha, I never knew that. Ah, da pandai da caka minyak da pecha. Before this, I'm like minyak da pecha. I'm like, what do you mean? How can oil pecha? What is the hell? What the hell? That means you know. So a lot of people said, wah, the mummies boleh ke pecha minyak? And I'm like, huh? I don't know how you pecha minyak. But apparently, it's when your the oil really, really pecha lemak lah. Pecha minyak, literally, and it, it surface is true. Okay, so I'm gonna add in the um, uh, the bawa which goes in last. Add Pomfrets cook for two minutes and thirty seconds in Varoma, um, reverse mode sp uh, speed spoon, and then let it stand for two minutes and then we'll serve it hot. Now, because it doesn't say here that you need the apaine, it doesn't say here that you need the simmering basket, but I don't know. For me, I I somehow like using the simmering basket when I'm having fish inside because then they nampak macam cantik. Even though it's going to be on reverse mode, macam, I just like seeing my fish all like perfect like that, even for my ikan. So some people might disagree with me because at the end of the day, I'm actually steaming it. But if you pop it in, then dia boleh resap lah tu air. Jadi, Lina, macam, saya kau tengok lah. Kalau saya guna ni, biasanya kan saya guna untuk bagi dia steam. Dia steam, tapi masalah dia, dia tidak perap lah dia punya air. Jadi, yeah. boleh juga ataupun nak juga masukkan dalam. Saya menyanyi chef saya ya, yang Masuk menunjukkan. Masuk dalam pun okey. Okey, okeylah. Hmm, tapi jangan ni lah dia blend lah. Okey, bosses put in all. And let's just follow the recipe book. I'm sure they tried it out. So this is like a huge gunk here. Okey. Tapi tak macam tak muat kan? Hmm? Macam tak muat lah pula. Sebab kita punya ikan. We've got like a really huge ass hmm, fish here. Uh, you know what? As long as it varomas its way through. Varoma is a uh, vapor aroma. And we're going to go for two minutes on this. Uh, dua minit lagi and then to habis. Okay, so two minutes. And then we're going to let it stand 
after this. So Varoma, I'm going to pitch it lama sikit. Okay, so it goes on reverse enable and we're going to just put it on spoon so that it doesn't macam terpacak-pacak lah. Okay. Alright. Jadi. Okay, so we've got some comments here. My husband's actually talking to me in my earpiece. So Ray says, thanks for highlighting this topic. It's my pleasure. I'm just sorry that I did highlight it earlier. I was just so busy. That's why you've not seen me doing any of my Pon Bebels. Otherwise, I would have said it earlier. Um, unfortunately, because I just re-logged into my IG, because I can't read the comments. Somehow, the system, I can't read it when it's living on my Instagram page. So I had to lo log in and log out. Uh, and I'm using my other Grand for the Cook page. Okay, on my Facebook, let's see on my Facebook if we have any comments or if you have any, um, what do you call it? If you have any feedback with regards to the bebels or even if you have any comments about what I'm doing right or wrong using my Thermomix, okay? So, see, Stacy is online. Eh, ini apa ini? Oh, ini bukan. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to go to my recent one. That's just it lah, guys. Hi. Oh, wow. 30 comment. Banyak juga. There's about 16 shares already. Bisok, we will be doing a Diva Roma's virtual cooking show demo. Um, I'm going to be doing it with Aisha Wahab, Ayn and Reno, as well as Mas, who's a baker. She's one of our customers. So that's going to be interesting because our topic of the day will be World Environment Day. I'm just going to keep things chill right now. Again, because I woke up at 3 a.m., so I'm a little bit zombified. But I just wanted to make sure that that issue about that Philip Among and sexual harassment is a major no-no, okay? All right. Delia says, thank you. Uh, Daphne, you're so funny. I'm enjoying your chatter cook with the thermi. Thank you so much. Bila mm. All right. Ben, I already mentioned that. Fanny says, I don't know how. Corinne Bagyu. Which says, already kena tangkap that yesterday time they bought meeting. Yeah, baru saya cakap tadi itu. So I'm just going to leave this to um, let it just stand for about two minutes. Just so that dia betul-betul masuk. Adakah dia punya, oh, thermo, dia punya thermo server kita pakai untuk nasi? Eh? Oh. Okay, we'll just put this in and then let it stand. Saya akan biar dalam lah supaya dia macam dia punya steam tu masuk betul-betul. I'm just going to leave it to stand inside the mixing bowl so that, you know, whatever aroma needs to go to the fish and whatever needs to be done. Dah masak. Cuma biarkan dua minit untuk dia, ni lah. Dia meresap betul-betul masuk. Alright, so let's see if there's anything else. Yes, Ben, it's true. So Ben says, thank you for mentioning men to report if they have been arrested. A lot of people think, and unfortunately, it normally happens to women. But there have been cases where men too have been harassed. Okay, and drong lagi lah malu mau report because I'm not sure actually why. I mean, if for us women folk also kita pun sudah segan macam kita victimize ourselves. We think that it's our fault. It's not, by the way. Oh, I should go back to that point that I left out before I was interrupted by my thermomix, my mo. While a lot of people were standing in unity with regards to how brave this young lady was. Ada juga beberapa segelintir yang cakap mungkin is about her attire and her behavior. And I think this is really, 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 really wrong for us to say stuff like that because I know incidences of rape where the woman is in a headscarf and she's all covered and yet she's raped. So it has nothing to do with your behavior. It has nothing to do with profession. It has nothing to do with your attire. Okay, it is not your fault. I know I said I wanted to keep it light, but I want to make sure that everyone knows it's because I've got kids of my own and I cannot imagine if this happened to them. All right. So if you know of anyone who has been sexually harassed, there are some NGOs like AWAM, WAO, SIS or SIS. Uh, there's also WCC. All right. I will post this all over my caption once this is over. But the first thing first, guys, is to lodge a police report. Um, get someone that you trust to take you there uh, for emotional support as well as to just ensure that everything is going to be okay with you. Um, make sure you record things that has happened to you. I know it sounds very off, but because you need, really need to be very specific about the time where it happened, what did he do to you, what did she do to you, or what he did to you, you know, so things like that. 
Alamak, tidak nampak sudah ada komen sini. Alah, okay. So yes, it doesn't happen just to men, uh, females. It happens to males too. It happens to children. I've had a case where the baby was raped, six months old, enam bulan. By who? By a relative. So sometimes these works that I do, right, when I handle cases like this, very sensitive cases, it really bogs me down. But it's also a reminder that I need to be also very mindful of what I show in my platform and what I tell my kids. Because as much as I'm very trusting towards a lot of people, my husband and I are like two extremes. You know, he doesn't really trust a lot of people. I'm very trusting to everyone. So that keeps me a bit grounded. As I want to love and be trustful. Trustful to everyone around me. Kadang-kadang kita akan berjaga-jaga juga, ba. Kau bayangkan, ba. Ini organizer committee ni, ba, yang sepatutnya menjaga, ba. Tapi apa dia buat, ba? Dia bergetek lagi. Kurang ajar. Kalau betul lah. It's still alleged, ah, huh? alleged. Tapi, eh, betul-betul saya sakit hati macam ni dengar macam ni. So I I can't see my views right now because I don't know. I just sort of stopped. But I would love to hear your feedback with regards to what your thoughts are on the topic dan juga kalau kau pernah juga masak singgang bawal putih kamu ada style yang lain mungkin kamu boleh share sama saya nanti saya akan share juga dia punya resipi ataupun ikan lain yang kamu guna mangkali ah bolehlah share sama kami ah mula-mula si Lina bilang dia mau goreng ini bawal saya bilang eh janganlah macam sayang habis bawal putih bawang bawang bawal putih ni macam sedap ba Let's have it like either we steam it or we make it into soup. So I found the recipe over the Malay uh, recipe book and I'm so glad that we did it because we had all the staples except for the kunyit, which I had to go and cook it from upstairs. But it's okay, we used the powder one. I think this should be okay and settle. It smells delicious and I'm going to just serve the rice, which I cooked earlier on using my Thermomix, 18 minutes sahaja. And uh, that's about it. In the meantime, guys, tomorrow be sure to join us at 10.30 a.m. with Diva Romas. We are going to go green and we're going to share with you some tips on how you can be environmentally conscious even while cooking or preparing your meals at home. This is Daphne Iking signing out and I too stand in solidarity. Papa, how do you say it again? 3 a.m. 3 a.m. I stand united. Let's just say that, okay? I stand united with all the survivors who have been brave enough to lodge a report and to say no when it means no, even if you're in the midst of that act. Let's say, kau syok lah bang sama dia, kau mubi syok syok, and then suddenly you feel uncomfortable and you say no to the person, regardless of guy, uh, girl, whatever lah kan. Kau cakap no, even though you're naked ah. Kalau kau naked pun, tapi masa tu kau cakap saya tidak mau, saya rasa I don't want, I'm not ready for this, I don't want to do it. When no means no, it is a no, it is a sign of protest, so stop it. Okay, and another thing that I want to say, as much as I want to tr- uh, tell my children, especially my girls, to be wary about, you know, things like this that happens, I also want to make sure that my boys, my sons, are respectful to their their female friends, to women, to everyone around them. It's not just about, you know, all this, you know, being all... Uh, MCP about it, okay? So the first thing that my my husband always tells the, my boys is, if you cannot even protect and love your sisters and your mother, then I don't know. Because that's one of the first important things that we want to get tell most importantly is, you know, protect your sisters. All right, then I'm going to go off because my husband says goodbye and I'm going to keep it light. I'll see you tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Bye.